Our good friend Barlow Katir has returned for another week after being in the void. This week he is going to be on the Pluto node. So let's go ahead and check out the Orcus Relay and see what he's got for sale this week. Okay. So he's got quite a few good things here that we should go over. I went ahead and took a quick look and I will show you the things that I think are most important. First off, he's got this uh, new emote that you can do for a million credits. I'm going to buy that because... Anything that costs like just that. credits is Come worth buying, in my opinion. Really especially if it's an emote that you don't thing. already have. So if you don't have this emote, definitely go ahead and get it. Baro also has four different mods that we're going to look at this week. And I think all of these should be an automatic buy, unless you don't have the ducats in order to pick them up. First one is Prime Pressure Point. This is 165 melee damage at max. Very important one to pick up. Really good for your melee. He also has... Um, Primed Slip Magazine, which is magazine capacity for your pistol. I, I might actually pick that up so I have more pistol capacity for my Hack Broncos. He also has Primed Heat Charge, which is 165% heat for your pistol. So he's got a lot of pistol-related stuff this time. And he has also got Prime Bane of Grenier, which is 55% damage to Grenier for your rifles. All of these are really good mods. Uh, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose which ones you want. But these ones are really good if you're trying to build something with your pistol. With my Ag Broncos, I might actually just pick these both up just so that I can make my magazine capacity bigger and my heat more uh, prominent so that uh, when I do damage with my uh, Ag Broncos, they can they can wreck even harder than they already do. He's also got some Katir related uh, accessories for both your Warframe and your, uh, I almost said Traveler, but that's not the right, that um, your person. And um, you can pick those up if you haven't uh, done so yet. And they're, it, it, they're all just, you know, cosmetic looking stuff. He's got Prisma. I'm going to mispronounce the, this. I, I almost said Angstum. That's probably not what it is. I don't want to say that it sounds edgy, but this is a primed pistol right here. Uh, if you don't have it, I would recommend picking it up just because, you know, you should pick up every weapon that you don't have so that you can eventually level them up and increase your MR rank so that it can get to the top in the eventuality. He also has Volker Wraith. Again, just a, a blood red variant of the Volker Sniper Rifle. If you don't have it, you should probably pick it up if you have the ability to do so. Uh, everything, by the way, I, I, I will say that everything is secondary, I would say, to these mods if you don't have them. Or the Sans Venaris Quest Blueprint if you do not have that as well. If you do not have the quest or you do not have the mods, it should probably be a priority before you choose anything else. He also has this look, this decoration. Looks like it's from Yorelli's story, so if, if you want more decorations for your ship, you can go ahead and get that. He's also got a three-day booster, so if you just want to buy a three-day booster, I'm not quite sure if you can buy multiples of these. I'm not going to buy it because I already have like a 30-day booster on my account, but I would assume you, you can probably only buy one of these. Um, but there you go. If you want a three-day booster, there you, you can pick one up there. Um, you've got a Katir Visor. Uh, that looks kind of cool. If you want a, a visor for your for your character, uh, he's also got a stencil for your quarters, which uh, most of these cost platinum, and I'm guessing you probably can't normally buy this one. But if you would like the stencil, you can go ahead and buy that. Uh, this is one that I actually found kind of odd. I'm not quite sure if I will buy any of this relic because I'm saving my ducats for the other things. But he's got uh, this axie relic here. Which is probably, it looks to be a relic that only has weapon-based things on it. So it looks like you've got the Vasto Prime and the Ak Vasto Prime uh, materials. Actually, it looks like the only things that you can buy here are, um, are that you can get from this are the Vasto and Ak Vasto, which are probably all just one. I've actually never seen this weapon, so I'm not quite sure. But this looks like if you would like to get... Uh, the 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 Ak Vasto or the Vasto Prime. This is the relic you can buy, and if you want a good chance at it, I guess buy as many as you can. Again, I probably won't get it because I I don't have a lot of ducats in the first place. But there you go. If you would like to get two two weapons that are probably on uh, probably in the vault, there you go. That's where you can get it from. Uh, he's got some more cosmetic stuff. This looks like a rug for your quarters. I'm going to be honest with you, this is kind of tempting just because I don't have a rug to tie my ship together with. And as you know, with culture, you probably do need a rug everywhere that you live to bring the entire room together. So I'm I'm tempted. I'm tempted to get that, actually. 
Uh, he's got a desert camo skin for for your Durga Sentinel. That's kind of cool. Uh, what is this? This is oh, this is a domestic. Okay, so this is a this is a cleaning drone, or I, I assume that it's uh, one of the cleaning drones because it reminds me of the cleaning drones that I have on my ship. But this is a Katir inspired cleaning drone. So if you want a little drone running around your ship that looks like Baro Katir, you have one uh, right there. Uh, we've got a chroma skin. I I honestly am not quite sure what these are, but these are I, they kind of remind me of like trading cards with a history behind them. I've clicked on a few of them. They take you to like a museum and stuff. But this looks like one that has Deimos related things on it. Uh, we've got a couple weapon skins here and more Katir related stuff. A Fey Ephemera. And again, the Sands of Anaris quest, which again, if you do not own this, you should pick it up. It is a must-have so that you can get uh, another Warframe, and it's it's a quest. Quests are fun to do, so uh, always pick that up if you don't have it. Uh, but yeah, to kind of round it off, the things that I think are a must-have, if you don't have this emote, pick it up. It is just worth credits, and you know, most people have a million credits that they can spare. As some people do, some people don't, but I would recommend getting this. All four of these mods are probably a must-have. I'd say it's up to you. Uh, definitely get the primed pre pressure point, though. This one is very important because you're going to be using your melee uh, uh, quite a lot, depending on what you do. And this one is this is a pretty universal melee mod. So, you know, I'm going to buy it right now. But uh, that's pretty universal. Perhaps you'll come to one um, the these two I probably could be more situational. But if you don't have them, you should probably pick them up as well. Uh, the same kind of goes for the Bane of the Grenier for your rifle. Situational. But I'd leave that up to you whether or not you want to buy it. Uh, again, get up, pick up the weapons if you don't have them. Because they're they're weapons that you probably don't have. Especially, you know, the, the Prisma ones. I'm not quite sure if the Prisma ones can only come from him. I've only seen them come from him. But uh, if you don't have them, get them. Because they're, they're awesome. Everything else here, kind of fluff. Kind of just extra stuff if you don't have it. If you really want to, if you have everything here and you're not caring about it, definitely get the Axie Relic. I'd say this is probably the last thing you should probably get, just because, uh, you know, uh, it's got it, it it's gotten cool stuff. But you should probably focus on some of the other stuff in here as like first, uh, as well as this three day booster. And again, obviously, the most important thing in this in this uh, buy list from Borrow that I am going to have to consider is this Tenno Kindred rug here. Uh, because you really need a rug to pull your ship together. <laughs> uh, that's about it, it looks like, for this week with Varro Katir. I'm going to have to grind more relics tomorrow and get more stuff so that I can buy either the rest of these mods or maybe get some of these weapons because he's got some decent stuff here and I would like to get as much of it as I can before he disappears after Sunday. Uh, other than that, that's about it for today. Uh, really quickly, if you don't know how to get ducats, I, I get I kind of want to do this with every video But if you don't know how to get ducats, there is a terminal nearby him as you can see He's swarmed by people over there But there's usually a terminal by him where you can sell all of your prime related parts that you do not need Unfortunately, I've sold all of the things that I have duplicates of and now if I want to sell stuff I'm probably gonna have to sell things that I don't have yet. So yeah, there you go uh, That's pretty much it Thanks so much for watching. If you liked, a like would be much appreciated. Sub if you haven't. Welcome to the channel if you just did. And have a fantastic day. Bye!